Good morning, guys. This is Three Points Dave for BeerLeagueHeroes.com, also known as Dave on all things Oilers, news and notes presented by Beer League Heroes. These are just three points that I gathered from last night's 4 nothing win over the Philadelphia Flyers that resulted in a 35-save shutout for Cam Talbot. The goal scorers were Korpakowski, Maroon, Taylor Hall, and Neil Yakupov. Now, my three points for tonight's game, or uh, for last night's game. Patrick Maroon's the first one. I really like what he did tonight. He was rushing the net. He uh, he was a, he battled against the boards very good there with Braden and Shen, mind you. Bit of a smaller kind of guy, but uh, I thought uh, Pat, uh, Patrick Maroon did an excellent, excellent job against the boards, handling, handling the puck. Um, for a big guy, he definitely has the skill with the puck. He's got the hands. Um, one thing I really noticed with Patrick Maroon is the the the, uh, the explosiveness. Um, you know when he's skating. I mean, he can get going pretty quickly for a big guy. And, uh, you know, I liked his net front presence to, uh, last night. I thought that, uh, you know, he did a really, really good job of just getting that greasy garbage goal against, um, I, I think their goalie was Mason or somebody. I didn't catch the name of the goaltender. So somebody, if you know the name of last night's goalie, please let me know. Comment down below uh, the name of uh, Philadelphia's goalie last night. I can't remember for the life of me for some reason. But uh, I thought Maroon was very, very, very good. And, um, you know, if he keeps going the way he's going, it'll provide a lot of help to Dreisaitl and Taylor Hall as uh, they try to get their games going again. Um, they'll have a big six foot three, two 230-pound power forward to, uh, you know, just to kind of create space for them. Eh? My second point for uh, this morning is Cam Talbot. Now, I thought Cameron Talbot played a very, very good game. Obviously, 35 save shutout. Um, I thought he was very good all night long last night. And uh, you know what? The second period, this will be in my thoughts, but the second period was extremely horrible in my opinion. I did not think he had a good second period. And Talbot, you know, he he kept him in it. You know, he kept him in the game. And that's what a starting goaltender has to do to his team. He's got to show them, hey, you know what? When you guys get down, I'll be there for you. I got your back. And that's what Karen Talbot did. And and uh, even so, he deserves a 4 nothing shutout and the 35 save performance. My third point this morning for last night's Philadelphia-Edmonton game, when which the Edmonton Oilers won 4 nothing, is team toughness. Little brouhaha in the third. Taylor Hall not happy with Gostomir. Wayne Simmons not happy with Hall. Maru not happy with Simmons. Adam Party has... I thought our team toughness last night was extremely good. It brought back memories myself of the 0506 team where, uh, you know, one guy gets hustled in the corner and next thing you know you got, um, you know, Ryan Smith and Al Hemsky and Jared Stoll and, uh, you know, Marc-Andre Bergeron, uh, Jason Smith. You know, uh, Chris Pronger, all these guys in there. Except this time, you had Zach Cassie and you had Taylor Hall, you had Brandon Davidson, Leon Dreisaitl. There was a couple of times where I was where I was watching uh, Taylor Hall, and I mean Maroon. There was one sequence, okay? Maroon was taking on two flyers at once. I mean, I love Maroon already. I've wanted him to be an order for so long. But anywho, I'm starting to ramble. Back on topic. With when Maroon had the two guys there, Drysdale rushed in defending him. Boom! Right now, defending Maroon. Right? Hall just stood there. Now, that's where I kind of have an issue with Taylor Hall. He needs to take more of a team approach instead of it being about himself. Now, he played a hell of a game last night. I'm not going to say he didn't because Taylor Hall was awesome last night. I mean, he played, I mean, he was incredible, you know. But as was the rest of the team. They all played that team game, that team toughness, and the drive as a team. You know, it's not just one person. It's a whole, it's 24, 23, 24 guys, you know. And I thought they did a really, really good job. Now, my one thought from last night's game, awesome first period, terrible second, took over in the third. And this is a thing, inconsistencies. That's why I still say that this team is not there. Let's remember, it's one game. One. 
one game, okay? They could come out tonight and lay an absolute egg against Columbus. Let's hope that they don't, but the chance is there, okay? They need to have less inconsistencies and have more consistencies, right? They need to be more consistent. They need to get to the to the uh, to the goal to, in the in the goalie's face a lot more. They need the garbage goals a lot more, like Maroon did last night. They need to to drive the net a lot more. They need to get more pucks on net. I still don't see them shooting a whole lot, and I still think that they need to do is as soon as you get a lane, shoot the pill, see what happens, right? But all in all, last night was a very good game. It's just there. I still question their consistencies. But as this is where I preach patience. When it comes to the consistencies of the hockey club, guys, they will learn. What you seen last night, okay, that right there is Peter Shirelli hockey. That's what it is, okay? Jot it down, mark it down, whatever you want to do. Paint it black, whatever. That's Peter Shirelli hockey. If, if you want to know what it's like, you seen it last night. And in the end... Once Shirelli makes the move that he's got to make, that's the type of hockey you'll see every night. I can guarantee it. They'll have a big guy on every single line, and they'll have a bottom six that can grind and tough it out against any bottom six in the National Hockey League. That's what Peter Shirelli hockey is. All right? And they got a big, big, like Peter Shirelli hockey, the big defense that will knock you on your ass. I watched the Bruins. I mean, obviously the Bruins, they can be a chippy, dirty team sometimes, but they don't have the skill that we do. They don't have the core that we do. You know, when, Shirley, when, when PC started there, they didn't have the talent that we already have. So Peter already has the core in place. He's going to put the puzzles around it, the little pieces of the puzzle, to build around the, to finish the puzzle, right? So, like I said, last night was Peter Shirelli hockey. That's what it was. Don't bad enough. No one don't take no shit from nobody. Right? And, um, yep, that's, that's a wrap on this vlog. I'll do another one. It'll be put up Saturday morning, which is tomorrow morning. I would like each and every one of you to have a great weekend, and I will have a, a vlog or two on the weekend concerning uh, the organization mis mismanaging players and possibly one on the lottery. I have not decided yet. I'm going to keep them a surprise. You'll like them. This is Three Points Dave, Three Points Post Game for BeerLeagueHeroes.com. Like, share, and comment on the vlog. And as always, follow at H-E-M-M-E-R 91 on Twitter. Have a great day and a good weekend.